I'm Tanya. And I'm Yeshika. And together we're Tanya and Yeshika's world. So today is Yeshika's birthday. How old are you turning? Six. 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 Wow. She's six. Anyway, she had got a present and she was hoping to share it with you guys. And so, that's that present. So a drum roll, please. It's and the Blue house. house. So as you can see, um, there is like a really big house here, it's and it's got, and it's here. recommended for ages two and up. If and you want a to know. Girl over there and my boy in so there is a lot of oh, the things, things to do here. So yeah. on Let's the open back. It up. There are different ways, so this is the basic way. Yeah. This is the second way, and this is the third way. But we're just going to stick with the basic today. So let's get started. Boo! of Lego pieces. But Second, maybe first you need instructions. You'll have instructions and also you'll get a mini package of cloths which are actually the blankets for the dolls on beds. So let's get <laughs> <laughs> So now you're going to get your instruction booklet and you're going so you'll give be given some pages here for your favorite choice of the way the house should be. So this is uh, the basic one. This is the tower like flat one. And this is the multiple one. So we're just going for page number four. So let's go to page number four. So here we are at page number four. We, so as you can see in, this pack, in the pack, you will be getting the sponges. As you get, you get the dad, you get the child, you get the teddy bear. Now, also, you'll get this pack where there's chairs, a cake, and the mum. Open it. Here's the mum. So, now you also, there'll be a bunch of bases, so don't worry. In the pictures, they'll tell you which one you specifically need. So, we're going to need this coloured one. And with that, we're going to need five of these mini bricks. So, and then we're going to take them to one corner and we're going to stack them. Two, three, four, and this one. Five, five, and five. Now, once you finish this stage, you're going to go to the next page. So now, step number two. So for step number two, you're going to be needing three of these large pieces and three oh, windows. Yes. So as you can see in the instructions, um, you're going to take one of these and you're going to take one of these and, and attach them to the bits given right here. And once you've done that, just flip it over and you've got yourself a window and also it opens now make sure you repeat this process two more times with your other pieces let's touch them now so an easy way to do this is to place it like right like this and just press them down because that's way more easier do you need to help yep yeah. yeah. All right. And now, as you can see, you can open it you can knit like this. So, just like it said, where yeah, you have your pillar, you're going to place one here. 
You want to place the one, another one here? Yeah. Here, you want to place one here? So one here and one here. Right there. So once you've done that, you go on to step, step number three. three. <laughs> For step number three, okay. you're going to need a completely new base. And with this new base, base you you're going to need six of these bricks. bricks. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, we've got enough. Now, what you're going to do is just going to take these two bits here. So if you if it's really hard for you to notice where to place them, here's an easy trick. Remove one of the pieces and place it like this. Then take the other one and snap it down. Simple. And, then and repeat the process of this until you fully are reached. So make sure you got the right number. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now, sorry, it was five. So make sure you're checking the numbers properly, which we made a mistake, but this happens all the time in Lego, so make sure you keep your eye out. Step number four. four. So for step number four, you're going to be needing four mm -hmm. of um, another window sill type and a window. So just like last time with these, we're going to just press them on. There we go. And then as you do that, the, we have four of these blocks. So two will go to one of each. As you can see. Just, you just like this. It. And then you're just going to stick them down. You need a little help? Yep. As can you see, it's just open like a window. Now let's go to step, step number, number five. five. For step number five, you're just going to need five oh, of I these little know. four cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's get started. So for step number five, it's simple again. You're just going to stack your way up. All the way here. And if you and if you mistakenly seen the number, like six or seven, the way to make sure is they're level with everything else. As you saw, we made a mistake with one of these. You need to make sure they're level so that when you build another layer, it's going to be easy to do stuff rather than just taking it all apart again and doing it over again. Now we're going to step number six. six. So for step number six, you're going to need one of these window, window sills sill. again, mm -hmm. and you're going to need one of these window and type things blocks. and two blocks. Let's get started. So again, you're going to just put yeah. these on and then, and then you're just yeah. going to repeat the same process as these basically. So you have to put it in here. Great job. Now you're going to go to the next page to see where they have placed it. And if you see, they have placed it right over here. Let's yeah. turn it around for you. Right over there. Okay? So, next, next step number, number seven. seven. So, for step number seven, you're going to need one of these blocks. So, so you're going to need four. four. Right. And you're also going to need four of these little, little drawers. drawers. So, as you can see, to make it easier for you guys to see, we're going to turn this around. Now, right here, you're going to start from right here, you're going to put them right here, and you're going to make sure you can see the hole, because it is important, because these, if you haven't noticed, are mini drawers. Okay. So you're just going to slide them in. And don't worry, they're not going to be loose or anything, they just fit in really yeah. well. And just need to put the last one in. And... Actually, let me point this out. It's mini drawers. They're adorable. And they also says on instruction to put so, in. And it also says, okay? Now step number, number eight. eight. So for step number eight, you you're going to need to open one of these. So 
open. Opened. And you're going to need to make sure you specifically follow what they are saying because it is really important. So, so you're going one, to need this triangle one and, to this and you're going one. to need this. I think it's a little type of sink or cutting board and a wooden place. Now as Yashika has just pointed out, you're going to place your wooden one Wait. right here. Anyone place this one right there? Yeah. yeah. Push it down. And you're going to put this one here. And in this one right here, to make it easier for you, just take it out and put a bit of it right in mm -hmm. and make sure a little bit of it sticks out. And then put a little stuff in. Step number nine. nine. So for step number nine, you're just going to need eight of these pieces. So these pieces, we will need a lot of this on the top of this. So right over here, you're going to start right all over. Yeah. You're taking all the blocks. <laughs> so just like what Yashika's doing, you're just going to make it all around. So next is it's step, step number, number 10. 10. So for step number 10, you you're going that. to be needing one of these and one, one of these. these is a plain type of one so just like we've done to a lot of them you're just going to put it in it like on. the same thing done so yeshika you want to stick it right in there yeah okay. put it down so now we're going to go to step number, number 11. 11 for step number 11 you're going to need the same one of these yes. and this time you're going to have the one with muffins and gloves and it has a picture it's of the microwave top of it. yeah so first, we are going to just click it on. Oh, this is hard. Yeah, you just need to click it on. Click it on, and then and you put, put it, it on top. top. Press it down, press it down. So, next, next step number 12. 12. So for step number 12, you're going to be needing um, a, a little wooden piece and, two, and two stools and two of these cubes. So as Yashika has done, you are supposed to be placing them on the top of these. And right. then you put it right here. Where, so first you just need to put um, it in the there. And then let's check quickly. You use these little blocks. So when you place them in the middle, you'll get one, two, three, and so, one, two, three. So, so this one stays here. One right over there. Okay, that's that. And one over there. Oh. And you're also going to... Hey guys, this block. Whoops. We're going to also need this block right in here. So, so I apparently... Need... Okay. So you do that. You're going to need one here and one there. Okay. So as... So we have to do this. Okay, now time for step number 13. Uh, 13. So for step number 13, you're going to be needing two big bases because we're going to the next level. Okay, now that we are on step the next step, step number, number 14. 14. For step number 14, you're going to need one of, one of these pieces, one of these, and also one of those. So, and when you finish, your product is going to be like this, yes. and you're just going to place it right here. So, you have to get... And place it there. right there. Next, step number, number 15. 15. For step number 15, you're going to need one of this purple one, a yellow, yeah. and two wooden mm -hmm. frames. Now, as you can see, Yeshika has done it right here. Now, the thing is, they're supposed to place the other way round. So, step number 16, like you've seen, Yeshika has already built this up. And you're going to need five of these. Perfect. Step number 17. 17. For 17, you're going to need one of these, a shelving unit. And also one of these. So as you can see on my side, uh, we're going to face this. So to me, the back should be facing white. So, or... And also you can put this over here. Sorry, so 
to Yeshika's side, it's supposed to be this plant. And to my side, it's supposed to be like this. Because when we turn it around, to me, it will face, and to Yeshika, it will face the brush compartment. Step number 18. So Yeshika, for step number 18, we you, will need, so what do you want we need? We will need this. So how many of those will you need? Three. Yes, three of those. And also, you're going to need a mini these. guitar. Let me just say, it is adorable. Literally. Look at it. I'm playing the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then also, we are going to need one yeah, of these. Okay? So, for step number 18, we need to put them in here. So, as you can see, on, we're going to work on Yashika's side now because this is where the, the plants are. So, so what? This side. So as you can see, Yeshika has already assembled them. There's going to be like a cushion base, and just put them on the pink and right here. And then we put them here. And also, we will need to put this right here. That's it. And make yeah. sure you fold it a little bit because it's too big, and you're just going to lay it down like that. This is step number 18. Now time for step number, number 19. 19. For step number 19, you're going to need a yellow one, two of these mini yellow bricks, and one of this type of stool thing, a, a type of sink again, and also you're going to need one of these compartments. So again, now we're going to work on my size. And also we will need a toilet. And so for step number 19, we're going to take one of these mini yellow, mini yellow cubes and we're going to just put it over right here. So Yeshika, you want to put it right here? You want to push it down? Yeah, good. And then also this mini little compartment will go right <laughs> there. And also, okay, I don't know why she just put the thing we need and it is going to like roll it up. And um, place it right there. So you got a towel. So step number 20. So for step number 20, you're going to need a mini seat right here. Um, a mini compartment bit. A stool. And a mini bathtub. So, so we're going to place the bathtub right here. Right now. Sorry, we're going to take the little stool and place it right in front we will need over this here. And this to make it as a toilet. Very good, Yoshika. So first you need help? You need a little help? Yeah, so alright. Now, now uh, we have to put this, this over here. So again, I'm just going to be doing it this way. And oh, this is a bit tricky. And then you the same time where you have to put it. To there we are. Snap it right down. Right here. Right over here. Yeah. And which means the bathtub will be right there. Over here. Yeah. There we are. So now we're going to go to step number, number 21. 21. For step number 21. We are building our final base. So, click this and one. Also, For step number 22, you're going to need two of these big pieces and they will have no patterns on them. They're just blank on both sides. So, so you want to put them on? Put one them on one here. side. And put them on another side. Great. That's step number 22. Now it's time for step number 23. 23. For step number 23, you're going to need... Two, two of, of these, these and two of these and two of these which are clear so what we're going to do is we're going to take one right here and two stick all right yes you're just doing it and put one and right the last there one here you put these and under. and when you do this you're going to take this piece right here and put it on the top okay and then you're just going to place it right right here so you can see that there's a gap here 
time for step number now for step number 24 we need these yep and this a b c d one will go on this side and this unicorn will be on this side now again we're going to be do we're doing it opposite to the picture because when we turn it around to us we will it will be the same way as the picture is now time for step number 25. Five. so yoshika what for, can you please tell me what we're going to need for step number 25? You need this. Yeah, you're going to need these cloths right here. You're going to be needing a bed. What else are we going to need? We will need this. Yes, we're going to need this yellow bit. And a bed. And this, ye and this yellow bit as well. And a little bear. And also, not last, don't forget, and a little compartment. So, let's get started. So first we're going to take the house yes and as yes she has done she's just placed it on top and for, yeah, these, for that and also for that you have to click it in what we did last time so, so as she is doing that i'm just going to be placing this in so as you can see um this bit will go on the bed which i'm just going to be doing quickly so so the bed will go right over here and with its little cloth let's fold it back a bit Wait, um there we are and also we're going to place the teddy right in the bed and then and on the other side we're going to place this and the extra cloth you put it in to fold it like in this picture so i'm not doing the best to imitate it i'm just going to do what i can so there we are you got the cloth inside there we are now do you need a little help or do you got it so you just need to put it you need help? Yeah. All right. There we are. So once you got the playhouse, then just put it in the middle and make sure there's a two, two square, uh, two um single line gap here. And then we're going to go to step number twenty-six. So we have actually completed the structure of our house, and now we're just placing the furniture in. So as you can see, we're just going to need the cake, a plate, milk, and a bowl, yeah. and also a little pot. Oh. So for the pot, oh, and we also forgot to mention a little puppy. Right. So there we are. A cute little puppy. So, we so yes, like Yashika's done. Now we're she's going to just place it on the table. We're going to put it in the middle. And now, when we go to the kitchen, we will put the pot right, right. over in the sink. So, oh, yeah. But the pot should be right over. Okay, so it doesn't really show the pot. Oh. There it is. So the pot was going to go um, here in the come on, right there. So right here, here. You're just going to put it right over right there. there. Then, so as you can see, we're going to put the pot right over here. And the milk should be right here. That's it. And now the rocking you're going to take the rocking horse and your last um, little rug and you're just going to place it place outside it right here. here and actually Back. any person can go on it so what about we try the little boy on the rocking horse there yeah. you go. so the boy is going to rock the horse See, it actually works and the person is moving. And now we're so, going to finish the touches. So, but. The is placed over here. And the mother. 
My dumb mom stays at the kitchen. Your dumb mom stays at the kitchen right next to this boy. So, this is the Lego Duplo house. This is the outside. This is the outside. And this is the inside. Inside. Let's stop playing. I think I'm just going to keep the little boy here. This door. That sounds good. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> we got busy playing. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. And once more again, okay. happy and birthday, Yoshika. Thank you. So we'll see you next time with a new video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.